Hello grade 10s, let's do this mechanics equations of motion question from a past paper, an exam paper. Let's jump right in, but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. They say a van is traveling at a constant speed of 54 kilometers per hour in a straight and level road, where the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour. My first question is a definition. You need to study your definitions, grade 10s. It says define the term acceleration, and you need to know that acceleration is the the rate of change of velocity. If you forget that, remember the simple calculation for acceleration looks like this. It is the rate. When we say rate, rate means dividing by time. Dividing by time is always rate. It's the rate of change of velocity. Velocity is changing. Remember, this is final minus initial, which is representing a change. Two marks or nothing over there. Then my next question is easy marks. They want me to convert 54 kilometers per hour to meters per second. Now I've taught you this in a previous video, but to go from kilometers per hour to meters per second, we divide by 3.6. And if we're going the other way, you multiply by 3.6. So essentially you need to show me it's three marks. So I do want to see a calculation. 54 divided by 3.6, and we get 15 meters per second. Easy, easy three marks. A policeman starts his car from rest just as the van passes him. So immediately we have two cars over here. The van, we originally calculated that the van is traveling at 15 meters per second. Please work with VI, VF in meters per second. So my van initially was traveling 15 meters per second. The policeman starts his car from rest which means that vi for the police car initial velocity initial speed is zero just as the van passes him the police car accelerates uniformly at two meters per second squared so the police car is speeding up in the positive direction acceleration two meters per second squared until it reaches a maximum velocity of 20 meters per second. So we got our final velocity as 20 meters per second. All of these are going to be positive because I'm choosing to the right as positive and the acceleration is positive, the car speeding up, the final velocity is positive, the car still traveling in the same initial direction. 3.3 wants the time it takes for the police car to reach its maximum velocity. So we're not caring about the van at the moment, we want the car. So remember, in previous videos we've done this, we're looking for time and we have three variables. You must always have three out of the four variables and you're looking for the fourth, which in this case is time. So the equation of motion that I'm going to choose that makes the most sense for me is this one because I have that, I have that, I have that and I'm looking for time. So they are quite generous in this paper because they give you a formula mark, substitution on the left, substitution on the right, and then you solve for time. So it's 20 equals 2 multiplied by time, and then you divide 20 by 2, you get 10 seconds. Final answer, with units. 3.4 is 6 marks, and they say determine by calculation which vehicle, van, or police car is ahead at the time t seconds the one that we calculated just before so remember we calculated time and we said time was 10 seconds so they want to know after 10 seconds who is ahead is it the van is it the police car so we have variables for each of them and then they also tell me assume that the van maintains its constant speed now this sentence is so important over here if a vehicle is maintaining its constant speed it means that the initial velocity and the final velocity will both be 15 meters per second to the right or in the positive direction. It also means that the van will have an acceleration of zero. So if it's not speeding up, if it's not slowing down, if it's got constant speed, uniform speed, it means that acceleration is zero. So we're going to have to do two calculations. We're going to have to look for displacement or distance for both of them and then see which one is ahead. So let's do it. Let's start off with the police car. So we're looking for displacement. So the only one that doesn't make sense is this one. Then you can pretty much choose from any of the others and it should give you the correct answer. So I'll be doing this one. So remember this is for the police car. So the initial velocity is zero. Time is 10 seconds. Then my acceleration is two. It's a positive, it's speeding up in the positive direction. Time is 10 seconds. Don't forget to square that time. 
So during that 10 seconds, the police car has traveled 100 meters in the positive direction, although they don't, they're not asking for displacement. So you don't have to say, you don't have to give a direction. For the van, I can use the same formula. It is good to write it out again, even though you've already written it over here. My initial velocity is 15, time is 10 seconds. Remember, acceleration is zero for the van. It's not speeding up, it's not slowing down, and time again is 10 seconds. Therefore, my displacement for the van is 150 meters. Therefore, we need a conclusion. You can't just give me the calculations they say. Which vehicle is ahead? So you say, therefore, the van is ahead. So where do you get your marks? You get formula mark, substitution, substitution. That is one, two, three, four, five, and conclusion, six. Check out more videos in this playlist for more past paper questions. I do more difficult ones as well. Please subscribe for more, and I can't wait to see you in another video. Bye, everyone.